Hi Tamers! Today we're gonna talk about Mimit. Because Mimit can transform into any other Tem, it's hard to nail down just one or two builds for them. So I'll be giving you general tips for building your Mimit and spend most of the video showing off sick combos you can do with them. There's an absolute ton of info to cover, so let's get started. Prologue, building your Mimit. First of all, Mimit's traits are Landing Transmog and Striking Transmog. Both allow Mimit to transform into another Tem on the field, but specifically Landing activates when it enters the field and Striking activates when Mimit hits another Tem. Landing Transmog is the more popular trait because it's faster. Striking Transmog takes a whole turn to attack with Mimit before it transforms. There are still niche uses for Striking Transmog, which we'll talk about a little later in the video. It's important to know specifically what Mimit gets when it transforms. It copies the base stats, types, and traits of the Tem it's transformed into. However, it keeps its own SVs, TVs, and HP and stamina percentage. It also doesn't copy any positive or negative status conditions or stat changes that the copied Tem had. It's difficult to tell you exactly what TV spread you should go for with your Mimit, because there are so many variables. What Tems are on your team? What Tems are on your opponent's team? What Tems are popular in the meta? What Tems does your team need to counter? What Tems does your team need to wall? What Tems are in the side park? How many Pansons do you have? Did Kino get buffed or nerfed this patch? Is your Mimit a Luma? Is your opponent a Luma? Did you eat breakfast this morning? Because of these factors, it's impossible to build your Mimit for every situation, but there are a few general rules you should consider. If your team has a few Tems that are built similarly, you may want to build your Mimit that way as well. For example, let's say you've got a Chromion and a Hedgen on your team. Both are fast, special attackers. You may find it valuable to build your Mimit with max speed and special attack as well, so it can fit that role whenever it transforms into one of those Tems. If you're playing a Salad Comp with a Cernif and a Saku and other tanky Tems, it's probably smart to build your Mimit with a spread of HP, Defense, and Special Defense. If you've got Nagais or Yaller on your team, maybe you breed yourself a Mimit with one Speed SV to play under Deceit Aura and abuse Comebacker. The possibilities are endless, so just try and look at your team and focus on the variables that you can control. No matter what TV spread you go for, your best gear option is usually Doppelganger Brooch. Sometimes over the course of the game your combos don't work out and you have to copy an enemy tem that doesn't fit your TV spread. The 50% damage bonus will help offset any wasted TVs you have and theoretically help you trade hits with that Tem. I want to very very briefly touch on Striking Transmog Mimit before I move on to the combo portion of the video. You should probably run at least 220 speed TVs to outspeed the Priority 2 metagame with DNA Extraction. The neat thing about this trait is it stays active while you're transformed. This lets Mimit change form every time it attacks a different Tem. This can give it a lot of sticking power as long as it can outspeed and transform to gain resistances before threats can respond. I think landing transmog is usually better, but I don't think striking transmog is worthless, just food for thought. Alright, now that we have a few ideas for builds, let's explore the vast world of Mimic combos. Chapter 1, Synergy Matching. Certain Tems have synergy moves that they can boost with their own typing. Mimic comes in, transforms into its partner, and provides the synergy bonus for itself and its partner in the process. Here are a couple prime examples. Every harmful microwaves user is part digital, so Mimic can provide synergy for a high priority double in. If you like Zaubian, he goes great with Mimic. Both of them provide electro punch synergy for one another. Every Hellfire user is fire type. This can lead to some crazy high team wide damage combos on turn 2. If you love your starter, Seismunch, Nagice, and Tortonite provide synergy for their own signature moves. Possibly the most dangerous combo is with Adoraboros or any of these three Koishas. They each have the Synergy Master trait, and so will Mimit when he copies one of them. This provides their synergy moves with a massive 50% damage boost. It would take a while to talk about every case of this, so if you're interested, here's every Mimit synergy technique combo currently in the game. Pause the video if you're interested. Chapter 2, Chromion Synertyper. Similar to synergy boosting, Chromion will always get its Synertyper bonus when paired with a Mimit. This can lead to some crazy high damage combos. All of them learn harmful microwaves, and two Chromions using that ability have some crazy high damage potential. Notably, Fire Chromion can boost its own Hellfire like I said before. Chromion already has the highest Hellfire damage with Synertyper, so let's double it! Neutral Chromion can generify itself, which is useful in between blasting the opponent with huge undermines. Chapter 3, Trait Refreshing. 
Many Tums have a trait which applies only once per battle. Well, whether it applied already or not, Mimic gets a refreshed version of that trait whenever it transforms. Most notably, if you transform into Kino with Protector trait, even if it already used it once, you can buff another Tem with Protector when you bring your Mimit in. This can also get you extra turns of Deceit Aura if you bring in Mimit to copy a spent Nagais. There's a pretty cool interaction that people have been playing around with, and that's half full Scaravolt. If you copy Scaravolt with Mimit, its half full doesn't trigger right away, so you can switch it out and bring it back in later to copy something else. Half full triggers before it transforms, so Mimit becomes a copy of whatever Tem you want and gains the half full buff. This is a perfect way to transition to chapter 4, buff transferring. We already gave the example of half full Scaravolt, but there are lots of great buffs you can transfer using Mimit. Copy a Madness buff user, use it, and then swap to a special attacker that could make use of it. Copy a Heat up user, and then copy a fast physical attacker for an easy sweep. No matter which flavor of buff transfer you choose, you can make Mimit into a pretty crazy raid boss Tem just by borrowing the abilities of other Tems. Chapter 5, The Loadle Combo. Okay, so this is sort of a bonus chapter where we're just gonna talk about a basic combo using Voodoo Luadle. You bring in Mimit to copy Luadle, making it four times weak to digital. Hit your Mimit with Luadle's Faraday Cage, and the Voodoo will Oko Mimit, dealing 350 damage to both enemy Tems. Trading your Mimit for two enemy Tems is a great deal. People often run Nagais or Gazma on these teams to make their Luadle outspeed or underspeed the opponent and pull off this combo. Yeah, the combo's a little cheesy, but if the opponent can't deal with it, it's the freest double knockout ever. Alrighty, I think that's a good place to stop for now. There's absolutely no way I can cover every Mimic combo in one video, but I think I got the most common ones. If you'd like, leave your favorite Mimic combo down in the comments. If I can collect enough of them, I'll make another video to share with you guys. I hope you found this video helpful. My name is Blunk, and I make Temtem content for YouTube. If you like this video, thanks! Stay tuned for more, and have a nice day!